As the updates for BT6 get bigger and better, well, so do the bugs. Uh, if you haven't heard of this one, then let me just say it's pretty crazy, and I've seen my fair share of crazy bugs. Uh, by the way, at the time you're watching this, the bug will have been patched. Before you start jumping into a game to try it out, how it works is as simple as using Rigi Potion. Watch the following. I use both my totems, I use this, and wait a minute. It also refreshed the totems in my shop. What? And not just a totem, but the rejuve. It's back to 2 out of 2. So this bug is the bug that lets you restock items in Geraldo's shop pretty much infinitely, so long as you have the money to do so. Let me just go ahead and use a bunch of items off of his shop, use the rejuve again, and take a look at that. Back to full. Thus, this can make for some pretty crazy shenanigans, like, for example, I've seen a lot of people doing the infinite genie glitch that's quite high up there in opness also infinite paragon totems to like get paragons faster i think a great place to use this to your advantage though is in boss rush a game mode that is not competitive by any means so we're not breaking anything by doing it here but we can see some pretty crazy shenanigans and maybe even a high score with one of these maps here we've already been island four but i do want to try it out it's blue and so water park with the following relics uh higher hero level to start all attacks hit lead balloons, uh, extra fortify damage, and a free monkey to start. Now, there is just one problem in that Boss Rush always disables Geraldo. Even before the bug, he was probably too OP in such a game mode, so Ninja Kiwi never has enabled it. However, did you know that there is another bug with Geraldo? Yes, sir, that's right. A second Geraldo bug has hit BTD6. Basically, how it works is simply have Geraldo selected on the hero screen and then jump into Boss Rush. And make sure you also do so without, like, changing the hero in here. Because once you just jump to a game, you should see Geraldo selected on the top right side, even though it said Quincy. As far as I'm aware, this bug was here last update, so it's not new. Anyway, let's use our free monkey to start with attack. All the way up here. We'll drop Geraldo down before the round starts too for uh, some instant leveling. Starting off at level 4, which means we can also pickle the attack spare. And then how about a random 0 ace to catch his trace, because random balloons will come out from the other lane as well. Before I start, there's also one thing I haven't utilized in my advantage in boss rush, and that is you can use powers, but only the quality of life ones. Although I don't know if you consider stuff like pontoons or lakes quality of life, because they give quite an advantage, but I'm personally going to allow it. Let's put some chocolate at the bottom of this slide. And yeah, go ahead and turn this map into Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, because I'm going to need a lot of land when Balloonaris gets over here, because there's only a Mermonkey as a water tower. But it's not like you even need Mermonkey on water to get it to work. On top of the portable pools, or rather pontoons, let me do some tech bots, because I'm gonna tech bot some abilities with this glitch, just so you watch how crazy he gets. And here we go. Let the games commence. Let's see how quickly this two damage tech spear. Ooh, maybe I should have... Could I have placed a... Yeah, I could have placed, uh, chocolate up here. That would have been a better spot. Because right now we're quite delayed in getting the first blue nearest kill, but I don't want to restart. Otherwise I have to... I lose all my likes and my tech bots. It is what it is. I guess not too late to start on my second texture, though, so quickly. Allow me to place a second over here. And the damage is going to start ramping up pretty quickly uh, with those two damage attacks. So much so that I'm going to need some DED here. So let's get a cluster bomb for some group damage. Should keep on pickling. I can fit three tech sprays here. I'll turn one of them to overdrive once the money's there. Should be in one more kill. But the goal is to try to rush to all the level 11. That's where you get the Regi Potion. So I might even buy some levels to get there. Although for now, we can probably chill. So pickle this overdrive. Get a second one. I am... No. Alright, I gotta restart here. Because I can't leak and then have Blue Nerys jump forward like that. On the bright side, this time, I can get the damage out quicker. Just watch as we pop the first one within like 5 seconds, so that saves 30 seconds right there. I'll probably just get a jungle druid to catch this race here. Also, how does the pickle work? Huh. It seems to progress two rounds, because there were two rounds left there. But the pickle expired immediately. Is it even worth $100 in that case? Maybe not. I'm just gonna get my druid instantly, oh my god. So many yellows leaking. Much better start though, much better start. I will still pickle the overdrives, because I think it's worth it. Okay, so we got a cluster now, and drew it for the first Lunarius wave. Nice, we finally got it covered. Man, my pickle already ran on the overdrive. I'm not gonna bother with it. 
Instead, we should just do an embrittlement. And now watch out for kill number 20. I think I'll just do a ring of fire. That's the easiest way out for all those rams there. I require more overdrives. More. God, we're popping everything so quickly that I don't have time to, like, think about what to drop next. The overdrives are just too damn OP, it seems. But okay, there's one more spot. For an overdrive here, I think we should just go for a attack zone next. Might as well, and crap. There's still camos leaking, are you kidding me? There. We should be good now. I'll sell one of you. For you over here. And now the damage should skyrocket even further. There is just too much on the goddamn screen. How about Glue Storm? If I can get it before... Those long line of Moabs... Come and get me. Maybe I'll just do... I'll just do a Maelstrom there. 50 kills already, damn. Attack zone in a nutshell, everybody. Are we at level 11 yet? No. Level 8 and a half. How about another one here? And I think for spots where I can't, like, put a pontoon, I should just, like, build an Arctic Wind. Next should obviously be, uh, uh not this, but 502. Cripple Moab. Let's do Elite Sniper. And let me explain how to get the most bang for your buck with uh, this glitch. So, uh, it costs $2,000 to use Reju, of course, as you saw. So essentially all you gotta do is make $2,000 every time you activate the uh, Rejuve. So for that, that's why I'm gonna drop Supply Drop Snipers right now. Are we at level 10 yet? No, but I'm just gonna buy... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna spend the 8k on it. And we're okay. And we're not okay against those camos, but nope, we're good. Boy, are DTs ever so scary. So, TechBot. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And watch. I'm gonna Rejuve to make... Uh, I don't think that's $2,000, but... Crap, don't die, don't die. I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not, but holy crap, that was tight. Let's do... This now. Spike Storm. And then let's take about that one too. Over here. Rejuve. And let's just keep doing that. By the way, if you didn't know in Boss Rush, income is reduced by 75%. So therefore, Elite Sniper only makes 750. And the other Supply Drops are, I believe, 275. And if I did the math right, you actually need five. Five uh, supply drops and uh, several, or one elite defender, to uh, break even on the 2k. So I'm gonna first off break even, so I actually, uh, like, I can make money on top of making money from popping the balloons here. And with that money, I want to go for a cover spikes. So we have that tech bot meeting, we're gonna get a cover spikes on every single redo here. Also, I'm gonna pause to show you that, to make this good even crazier, I have rebinded a hotkey, so that I have a hotkey for Geraldo's, uh, Ridge Bush, and that's P. So before things get even crazier and crazier, let me drop some other ability towers down. Bomb for the, uh, which call it, mobile M. But before that, let me, let me just show you. With a hotkey. P, click, P, click, P, click. And we can basically make infinite money that way, and infinite abilities, come on. Give me mobile limb, thank you, and let me tech bot that as well. We can sell all these towers now by this here. Sell tax zone, get a new one here. Uh, continue, continue. Oh, I just forgot this. Lord of the Abyss plus, plus Mermonkey gets extra pierce. So I'm gonna get a 5 user on that as soon as I can. I'm also missing Sarbama, I believe. I, I like that one too. Because that's an 3,000 damage on everything on screen, meaning any uh, balloon areas is insides uh, are no longer a threat. And uh, I was so busy, like, dropping everything down that I didn't even take a look at my score yet. We're currently sitting at 87, but I think those are rookie numbers. We can certainly go higher than that. By the way, the Elam is also doing 4.5k, I believe. Every time I'm shooting out, not bad, eh? Watch as those BADs get one shot by the uh, one star per second. And also for your eyes, let's lower the accessibility. Just to make things a little bit less, I don't know, in your face, although... The rejuve animation is probably not really helping with that. Now, I don't think this is super OP at all, but I guess since I have the money, let's go for a Mermonkey pop side in, and then tech bot that. As if I want a full a screen full of a bunch of other projectiles. <laughs> I don't, but just for the showcase. I'm trying to save money for a, a super mines, but... It sure has taken a while, because I think we're, we're only barely breaking even with five supply drops and an elite. 
each kill at this point is only getting us, like, what, $10,000? It's gonna take us to, like, kill 110 at this rate. Hang on, let me just see out of curiosity. Wow, even at 0% FX, the rejuve animation is still blocking the entire screen. What a shame we can't, like, kind of get rid of that. In terms of Paragons, uh, the cheapest one I could get is probably a Ninja. But I don't know if I can make it there. Also, here's some rapid hotkey time. P-click, 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 10 times per second. BT6 has never been so broken. I, I used so many rejuves that I did- I- I used all my money before the animation could finish. And so now I'm out of money. Rip. Like, is it just me? I feel like my money just vanished by doing the spam click. Like, maybe I spent more money than I got abilities back? That's unfortunate, because uh, I don't think I can get my thing at this point. I also didn't even get Lord of the Abyss yet, bruh. Alright, how about sell a couple of you for that? There we go. Could you imagine if we had a Monkey Nomics farm in this challenge? Uh, boy, wouldn't that be disgusting, alright? I think uh, my fingers are tired from the ability. Let's see what I want to do now. Uh, let me sell the towers. Can I afford a super mine, or is the money, like, way off? Oh my god, still not there. Well, I can sell Popsidon. It's only uh, doing that little damage for it. There we go. And let's just use the remaining on the Rejuves. Actually, I'll get back Elite Sniper, because that way we'll at least make 750. But that's it. Let's see how much more we can squeeze out. I would like, I guess, 115 would be cool. If not, that's also fine. Also, Blunus has half a million HP per tier now. And I am officially out of money. Okay, what else could I sell then? Not much. I'll just sell the Sarbama, I guess. For an extra 30,000. Get us to 115. Only, uh, like, a sliver to go. Nice. I'm satisfied with that. Next time, next map, depending on what Paragons are banned, maybe I should go for a more money-oriented strategy so that I could, like not have to spam so much, or at least do the spamming all at once, and then just end up making so much money that I am getting a ninja. But you see, easier said than done. Most pops actually went to the Sarbama, but again, I like to believe the carpet did the most, and the elim, at least for the single target damage. So your mines got in only 400k. Now are you ready for the last island? I did a test run and got, as you see, 107. The new relic we got was Flint Tips, which is pretty useless. Small DOT effects. Bad news, they got rid of Tack and the Mermonkey, my poor Mermonkey. And of course, the map we have is Spillway, so I know on this map, Dreadbling spawns on the top left and he exits in the top right. Also, I'm an idiot. You don't need a tech bot for every single sniper because Elite Sniper now activates all the other uh, tier 4s for you, so that makes things a lot easier. But as I said, we're gonna do a more heavy farming strategy this time. And also, let's go ahead and do two chocolates under here. Oh, you can only do one. So apparently you can fit it up, but not down. All right. Here's what we're gonna start with. I know we have lead popping power, so this is a no-brainer. Spactory is king, especially once you get Mob Shredder on it. I will also pickle it for extra damage and Drop an ace to catch a random strays around. And free tower, I can just do Druid, and let's begin. With the uh, Smart Spikes attack speed, yeah, pretty much almost one-shot it. And now let's keep on dropping Spactories. Okay, let's don't worry about the Rock ones for now. They are pretty weak, but they are hella annoying. I think with this bug, though... Oh, I bought the wrong upgrade. Crap, I didn't mean to buy Center Path. But with this bug, I feel like Rock Bloons are no longer gonna be, gonna be a threat, especially since we can spam certain ridiculously OP abilities. Uh, so let me... Uh, yeah, okay, I already choked this run. This run... Is this... Man, I completely butchered that first run, so let's run it back again and not misclick. What I need to do is, after kill number two, I need to get Mob Shredder and then put it on Smart, and this should throw in the exit. Let's do a Jungle Druid now, and you see how quickly Mob Shredder kills it now. It's, it's crazy. If you get two of them, it goes crazier, but now I gotta start dealing with the Rock Balloons. And this is finally where glue can come to shine. So apparently, if you get mob glue, it works on the rock ones to slow them down. It'll allow us to give so much more time to pop them. And to pop them, let's do a 302 corrosive. Although I guess it lacks pierce, but I'll waste money on a 402. And let's build a fourth spectre. Does this reach? It should. But yeah, you gotta love the alchemist touch. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to damage a rock balloon or damage dread balloon with it not being able to hit lead. Oh crap, we we're leaking a lot of balloons. Jungle Druid. A third one. Okay, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Let's do ODS next. Because we're going to hit 30 very soon. 
Let's sell one of these to get a sticky bomb. Does that even... Oh, that doesn't even touch Dread Balloon. Oh, now it does. Okay. I was hoping... I'm glad it didn't end up being a waste. As I was saying, though, yep, we should sell for more ODSs, because they do good general damage and boss damage. So, we'll get three of them up to clear all the balloons here. And then let's do an Ice Bridge to get ready for our next cycle of 032 OPness. So that will personally involve an Arctic Wind for two over here. Let's see if a third one reaches. Close does not the right thing. Far does not the right thing. Smart. Crap. I'll just leave normal here. Let's build another Ice Bridge here. Now that we're back into primary. Uh, that's a lot of balloons. I'm just gonna... You know, from that. Frick it, I'll just get a Balloon Solver. And if we're out of primary, then even the, the Puddle should do damage. But this is just to guarantee your survival. While the Shredders are... Shredding everything. I think at this point, I might as well just jump towards a... Carpet Spikes of the Monies there. Yes, let's do that. Already very close. What can I sell? Uh, how about the ODSs? Because uh, they're currently in the military. And damn, we just did three kills with one ability there. Again, can you imagine? Once I can start spamming this to Oblivion. We are currently sitting at 64 kills. And what level out of all, though? Okay, one more level to go. So I'll, go, I'll start the farming already. So there is a 30 cap. 30 tower cap in boss rush. I'm almost I almost hit that cap, so let's get rid of a bunch of towers that are no longer useful here. Are we there yet? Yep, let's just spend the money for it. Cause it'll pay off really quickly. Just watch this. Here's one. How much money did that make? Well, I should do farmers, right? Farmers. And we should get rid of every low tier tower. So that, 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 and that can go. Wait, did I leak? No. That, I will say, was not part of the plan. Okay, let's get a Sarbama instantly so that we can not leak anymore. It should only take, like, a couple of rejuves here, given that I have, like, an army of probably a dozen of them right now. God, my fingers are tired already. Elim to make things faster, because I realize we are probably focusing too much on money right now and not enough on getting through the Carpet of Spikes layer so we can start getting more damage in. Come on, we're not popping fast enough. I should even sell. You know what? I'm wasting money on a carpet or an Arctic Wind there. Let's get a new carpet spikes. There we go. And back to schedule programming. Oh, crap. Rock balloons got really far while I was uh, just twiddling my thumbs. But okay, it's go time, right? We've got everything you could possibly imagine. Let's slow down. Get back a Moklu because I sold it for income. Um, what other tower could I add to this mix? Or should I just keep focusing on money? I'll just keep focusing on money. Uh, let's try to also get a pet rabbit. Not that it does much, but might as well. Yeah, 200,000. It's our quest to get the Ace Paragon, actually, because, you know, Sarbama probably gets a lot of pops as opposed to uh, ninjas that don't really do that. Uh, let's slow down here. I just sell to get a Grand Sabo just to buy us more time because these freaking DTs are scary. And we, we leaked again. No. Nah. How did that even happen? Well, that's unlucky. Because we leaked twice, meaning we have so much less time to beat Dreadloo now. Uh, I'm not a fan of this run. So there's another tower that's really good. And that is Bomb Blitz. Can I tech bot that, please? Thank you. Actually, I don't have to tech bot it, right? But that'll uh, delete a bunch of stuff on the screen pretty quickly. Once again, back to schedule programming. I'm just going to focus on using Rejuice for the next minute. So see you when I have 900k. Current kill count, almost 120. Current money count? I think I'm gonna go for it now. Actually, let's wait for uh, the Dreadloon to be on the Ceramic Shoot, because it's much slower this way. So now we sell. Do the mass sell-off, buy the other Tier 5 Monkey Aces. Back, I need 9 more thousand, okay. We will sell one solver for this. There we go. 9.8 million pops on the Doomship. God damn. What degree is this gonna be? 54, not bad, but a little too late, don't you think? We are gonna get a huge burst of kills, though. Four of them, Nana 124, but... You know, I bet we could do much better than that. Better than 15 million damage, 1 million cash generated, and 4.5k abilities used. So what I'm gonna do differently this time is the following. At tier 70, we get level 11. We are gonna buy Sarbama. And we are going to begin. Same drill as before, and also at the same time have a 
lot of snipers pre-play, so I can just spam an upgrade as I do this. And it is now official. Back to the same setup, except much more clean. No leaks, so Dread Balloon isn't any faster. And as many snipers as I can. I think it's like 24 or something like that. And now begins our slow and steady journey to 900k. Oh my god. We're using so many Star Bombas, yet it seems to not be doing anything against the uh, incoming balloons. The journey doesn't stop, though, till 900k. And honestly, maybe even more than that, because I do want to kind of get 16 million pops on the ace. To get to 360 would be awesome. Oh yeah, we even got level 20 draw, didn't we? Oh, nice. Okay, I'm definitely going to spend out some totems, then. As many as I can that are over the limit, sure. With all the totems coming, we are guaranteed degree 60. And I'll stop here. Uh, let's sell two of these now for those tier fives and the Paragon. Actually, I need to make 50 more thousand, so be here, be here real quick. And now to see the truly disgusting amount of damage. 14 million, close enough. Let's get it. And degree 69. Nice. Set it on Wing Monkey. Sadly, Rejuve doesn't refresh the uh, uh, abilities for Paragons. Otherwise, uh, could you imagine how much bro more broken that would be? Uh, at this point, we should transition to also getting the plus damage giver, so how about that? It's starting to reach the exit, isn't it? Or turning the end, so this, this, and this, that will tech bot as well. Oh, only 150k for this layer? Oh, right, that's because it's immune to military, no wonder. So I guess I gotta spam my way to get to 140 then, damn. Perhaps I should have gone for a ninja Paragon first, and then... Ace, yeah. That's a blunder by me. I was wondering why it was, like, not doing a damn thing. Well, that's just me slacking. Let's see if I can get back the money to get to Supermines. I got Supermines now in the corner, but I think it's too little too late. It's still got four tiers to go until we get through. Do I need to spam harder for the Elim to get its damage off? Possibly. I probably could sell the Ace Barrack and get to, like, 140 instantly with the Ninja Barrack on, but I kind of don't want to. It is what it is. So close to breaking 140. Yet so far. Alright, I don't know if I can take this leg. There we go. The end. I'm happy enough with that 138, but there it is. That is what I believe to be the most broken thing you can do with this bug, or one of the more broken things. Overall, fun stuff. And as a tally for the end, the Elim only actually did 2 million. Damn. The Grand Sabo did about the same. 10 million carbon spikes, a measly 385, and the snipers made 264 in the Elite, and. Well, close to 100k in the rest. Not bad. I look forward to next update, where maybe we'll see a bug even more broken than this. But for now, see ya.